All right, welcome everybody to... Wait a minute. This looks too easy. Let's try something different. Oh, there we go. Much better. All right, welcome guys. This is a, uh, a new map that just came out, uh, but it's... We're gonna be doing something different. <laughs> We're gonna be going through the whole thing uh, inverted. Because why not? You know, it just makes things everything everything so much harder for myself. This really messes with your brain. And actually, before we go any further, I do want to change one thing. Um, I was doing this on stream the other day. And this helped a lot to bring the camera down. Because you get more view of your car. But inverted gravity is really, really weird for your brain. Because you, you, you want to adjust your speed vertically. Um, like that. Oh my god. Uh, brain, 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 help. Okay. Like you start to forget which way you're trying to adjust. And then you start dry, you start flying towards uh, the ceiling really, really fast because you want to fly upwards. You want to adjust naturally that way. This one took me like eight minutes on stream. Not going to lie. Let's see if I can do it quickly though. Oh no. No! See, the, see, the second you lose control, you just, like, forget where you're going. And that's that's the hardest part. Just keeping yourself uh, oriented the way you want to be. I might not be able to talk too much during this. Because on stream... Oh, no. See, the second you just... You do something dumb like that, and you're stuck. On stream, I had to focus a lot. I just had music playing and stuff. Uh, I think I completed it in 18 minutes. So, I guess if you see the, the time marker <laughs> on... Uh, on the video, you'll know if I am sucking or not. Oh, okay, okay. We're not doing too bad so far. I've got other challenges that we've done stream too, and uh, I'd say this one was probably the hardest. So I thought I'd start with this one. Maybe add some more twists. There's so many things we can do um, to mess with the settings on this. Uh, the original, the actual map itself, I did in about. Uh, what's it called? Oh! No, don't die, don't die. Oh, no, see, I'm forgetting which way to go. <gasps> no, uh, I think I did the original actual map, like, in about three minutes. So, we're, uh, not on pace for that, for sure. But these are pretty good for... This is really good for controlling your car, like, getting used to really awkward positions. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's not good. I, 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 uh, I'm an advocate for trying things out that I try, but this, I just do not know if you want to hurt your brain this much. Uh, if you want to try it, you, all you need is Baki's mod and then just go into current game settings and, uh, change gravity to inverse. Okay. Honestly, not too bad. Let's just not mess up this end here. Okay way better than the stream version for stream viewers who are uh who watched <laughs> the previous run they'll know just how much better that was well that's pretty good so we're actually on pace for like maybe a 10 minute video here uh okay there we go it does help that i've done it once oh no i knew it it was gonna be bad uh i do i do recommend you guys try it let me know if you uh you tried it maybe uh maybe link me a video if you give it a try, uh, even if it's an hour long, I'll watch. I'll, I'll watch a lot of it at least, just see. Uh, see how it. See how it is with. Oh, yeah. The second you mess it up, you're done. Uh, it's definitely. Uh, definitely worth trying. Your brain will will work hard. It took me a long time, and you can see that. Well, I mean, if you saw my stream, uh, you can see that I've improved a lot on how I'm doing right now, just because. My first run was horrendous. No. Oh, it's so hard to just naturally, you naturally want to come out of those, out of these, going up, like facing upwards. And it's just like teaching your brain how to do something different. There it is. Oh, yeah, just hit the wall. That's fine. I don't mind. Oh, wow. Okay, this room's actually not straight. So that's part partly of the challenge, too. Like, if you flip right here, you're going to flip actually, like, upwards. See, like that. I don't know why I tried that. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh... It's a lot of fun though. It's like so counterintuitive that it makes your brain use a different section. You use a different section of your brain basically is what I'm trying to say. Oh god. And so if you can train it, 
you can have better car control. I think, I think anyway. I don't really know if that's actually true. I could be totally wrong on that, but so far it feels great to be able to do this a lot better than uh, 18 minutes. Although we're still uh, quite a stride away from the end. There we go. This one was pretty easy for me. I think I did this one first or second try. Just because I went slow and steady. Oh, snap. I keep forgetting I can actually boost upwards. Like, that's actually a thing I can do, but I don't know if my brain wants to handle that extra input. I think I'm just going to stick with this. Oh, go down, go down, go down. Am I facing down? Honestly, I honestly do not know. At some point, my orientation just got lost, lost on me. I'm dead. But 5 minutes 24. Not bad. I know I can already I can already tell the comments because this is what happened last time when I made I did a challenge video like this like dude you did it faster this way than um than I did do it normally and it's like just uh, take your time oh do your own pace that did not help me but but oh no never mind it didn't help me I was hoping that the f the the flip would level me out because whenever you flip you don't you don't gain or lose height. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm lost. Okay, I've regained, I think. Yes. Okay, this room was funny. So I, did, I was doing this for so long, like, like this. And realized this is the easiest way to do this room. Oh, never mind. I suck. So for the first part, you can probably fly through it. Which is what I was doing on the stream. But the fastest way is to just drive around. So I'm just going to do this. Let's see if I can get through it. Under 10 minutes. But this is Speed Jump 3. Uh, it's just came out, I think, two days ago by DMC. Uh, he created the other Speed Jump Trials, obviously. I would assume no one would take his, uh, <laughs> his series. Get sued on Rocket League. But at some point you can start you can stop driving through I think this is the point where like I'm actually just like here. But even here this my brain hurts to think about which way to drive. There we go. <laughs> cool. And then just gotta drive through this one. There you go. And then get through the final ring and then we're into the next room. Oh, I gotta remember we can't hit that wall because if we hit that wall we're dead. All right, this one actually this was the second most challenging place, for sure. Though I think uh, I might be able to do this one a little bit better because I had I did another challenge where this room was just impossible on the on the thing that we were using, the settings. Um, I'll definitely do another video of it where we change the uh, game speed to like times two and a half. So you're and you put 10 times boost on with times two speed. So you're not only are you spinning your car like way faster. Also, I don't like the way that you start on this level. That's that's half the difficulty of facing the wrong way. There we go. Um Not only are you you going at 10 times boost, but it's it's actually 20 times boost cuz you're going at two times the game speed. So you're just going super fast. Also, I am lost. My orientation is gone. So you kind of have to like line up on the ceiling here first to get the camera to work out. I find that the Rocket League camera is a bit limited at times. But we make do. Oh god. Never mind, we don't make do. We lose. Maybe I should have went through this normally before. Oh. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have went through this normally before showing you guys the inverted version, but I just thought this would be more interesting for you guys. Alright. This should be good if I just take my time. Yeah, there you go. Also, I do want to do a freestyle version because I did that on stream too. That was pretty fun. I drive on this. Why not? Okay. Yep. No problem. 
This is near the end, by the way. So we're looking for uh, a good time. If I can ace this, I might actually get this before 10 minutes, but I'm thinking it's tight. Oh, it's possible. If I don't mess this up. Can I do it? This is tight. Oh my god, I actually did it. Let's go. 949.5. Now maybe I'll just do a quick run of normal. <laughs> normal on this at the end. Just to show you guys what it's actually like. And then maybe for another video down the road. Um, either tomorrow, like maybe the day after this. I don't know, we'll see. I want to keep it fresh and different every day. But um, we'll just try to run it through on normal gravity. So here's Baku's mod. I'm just going to go back to default. And here I flop down. <laughs> Yeah, let's give this a go. Alright, let's give this a try. Feels so much better already. It takes a lot of getting used to that inverted gravity, but it is worth it because I just feel like I have way more car control normally. I don't even know why. Maybe my brain's weird. I mean, considering that I'm only pro using one stiffness, I'm, I'm assuming my brain is weird. The way it works. <laughs> to be fair. But yeah, making making good pace. We're already minus 19 on the uh, the timer. Good stuff. Which honestly, minus 19 is not bad for having inverted gravity. I'm assuming the next checkpoint though, we're going to be plus like a good minute or so. Uh, yep. <laughs> That's a good minute or so. That's 3 minutes 45. So yeah, we were at 4.5 minutes when we got to this point. Feels pretty good to be uh, this far, this fast. There we go. Let's try to go through this with no deaths. Oh, look at that. Minus 350. Sweet. So far, so good. I'm ho hoping to aim for like a, a two minute something time. I don't remember how long it actually takes. But once we get through the circles, I think it's just that other room with the wall. And then the final room. It's not the fastest time, of course. Just trying to make sure I don't die. Keeps it close and entertaining for you guys. Maybe you like to see me die, but I wouldn't rage at this. This is, this is like, pretty. I don't know. Standard aerial maneuvering for a pro, I would assume. Coming in pretty hot. Ooh. Oh yeah, we could do like two minutes fifteen, maybe. around the corner so this is how it normally is and you can tell it's a lot well a lot easier coming tight I don't know if we're gonna make 2 minutes 15 we can try maybe this last part can really mess with your brain though oh 2 minutes 15 no we missed it but didn't do too bad 2 minutes 17 Give it a try, um, either way, normal way, let me know what your times are, and try the inverted gravity. If you can't get through it, you can't get through it, trust me, it's, it's going to be hard on your brain for quite a while. Uh, but if you, if you do it for a while, long enough time, you'll get used to it. Uh, let me know if you, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, if you want to see more of these challenges. I've got some crazy ones, like I said, the 10 times boost, 20 times boost thing is insane and looks crazy, and the video will actually seem shorter, but you spend twice as long doing it, so... <laughs> Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.